Ah, uh, we're here. Just getting everything sorted now. We ain't got the tent up yet, but we're going to be putting the tent just here, next to the car. The kids are over there. It's recording. Say hello. Hello. You say hello, Bab. Hiya. Oh, is that all you get higher as usual? Oh, lovely little camp. Well, not really little. It's bigger than I was expecting. You can see it goes right up there. You'll get better images later. I'm not on the tripod yet because we've just actually got here. So it comes all the way round. I'll play with this. I've already seen they've got horses actually at the back of where we're going to be putting the tent. There you go. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. We've got a few horses in here actually. So I'll show you a bit better with them later on. But I want to get my tripod out in a bit. I'm just going to get the tent and that out of the car. And start because I'm going to do a... Um, oh, I keep forgetting what it's called. What do they call it, Bab? Time lapse. Time lapse. Always keep forgetting. Uh, just waiting now for Chris and Sam to come. We've actually got here a little bit earlier. Wasn't too bad of a drive, to be honest. But I'm going to get the tent out ready. Get the tripod out. I'm going to probably put it on top of the car instead of putting it on the floor so you can actually see it better as we're going along. Well, not if it falls. It won't fall. So, we'll see you soon. Thank God, tent's all up now. I think it's all pretty much finished. God, the pegs itself were a nightmare. I haven't got any, I've got my tripod on, but I haven't got a mark phone or anything on yet. We're still finishing the tent. Ones that are in the bag. Uh, 
see finish I mean they're not in the exact, exact proper place because I don't know how many pegs I've gone through there but I've pretty much bent half of them so it looks like I'm going to have to get some more pegs but sorry about that time lapse for some reason the wind suddenly come out of nowhere and um, basically knocked the phone over so I'm going to have to cut that at the end and then just see what's on there and I'll see if it's worth putting on I'll put it on if not I'll just cut it out so I'm going to go to the toilet in a minute I'll take you up there and have a look yourself good party Tina's just been and she said it's quite nice up there so yeah so I'm going to finish this off now and I'll get back to you all in a bit see you soon here we are these are the toilets and showers here's the showers you know what when you look at them outside you wouldn't think how nice it is isn't it? it's quite nice really clean Nice clean shiny showers. I can see that the screen's flickering, sorry about that everyone, that'll be the LED lighting. Got three showers. Obviously your sink, you got yourself some urinals, obviously this is the men's, I'm not going in the women's. And you got the only the one toilet, but hopefully, I mean the park doesn't look that busy and there's a few vans and that on here. But I thought I'll give you a quick look around, I mean look at these ceilings, I love it when you get ceilings like this. And it smells really solid like pine. It smells lovely. So I'll get back to you all in a bit because I think Chris and Sam are here now. So I'll see you in a minute. Oh, just quickly before I see them. These are them. And you've got obviously the sinks for the campers on the other side. On the other side of the building to clean your pots and pans and plates and that. But you can see right down there. Not sure if you can see, we're just there. In amongst the trees. Obviously these are the electric points here. It's quite a big site. Bigger than you think. And. There they are. They're in Big Bertha. So we'll see them in a little while. I'm not sure where they've gone. They've probably gone to pay. But no. And we'll take you a walk round in a bit. So I'll see you soon. Ah, they're not here. I bet both of them are gone to pay. Because Sam's not even in there. Shall we see if we can see them? Because that's Chris and Sam's van. See if we can see them. See if they're around this corner. Are they there? No, they're not there. The master where you pay. That's our coffee shop there. So that's where you go and pay. Love the little extra sort of flags on. So I'll wait for them to come out. I'm sorry if it's you can hear the wind. I haven't got the microphone on yet because we're still setting the tent up. But I'll see you in a minute. Uh, we'll meet them down there. I think they've gone the pay, but they're probably chatting as well. I mean, I haven't seen the owner yet. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Ah, we're back again. I've actually got the map on this time. So I'm going to see, I'm going to turn you towards the wind and see, I'm hoping you can hear me alright as well, because I haven't tested this one yet. So I'm going to put you towards the wind, because it's going to test it for myself as well to see. Chris and Sam's here, getting the van all sorted. So yeah, let the parties begin. <laughs> I've got Tina here sitting down. Hello. If I can get it down to her, I can't see you. Hi. Is it facing you? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, tent's almost there, we've just got to get the airbeds done. I'm going to be using that pump that I reviewed the other day, on Wednesday. I can't actually see my screen anyway, so I hope you can see it. But no, Harvey's playing with his cars, he couldn't wait to get them out as soon as we got here. I want my cars out, I want my cars out. Let's see if you can see him. Can you see him there? Say hello Harvey. So hoping to God you can hear me. It's all plugged in so it should be working. But you never know, technology can always go wrong at some point. But now I'm hoping this math on here is working and hopefully because it is quite windy. Might hear a bit of wind, I'm not entirely sure because obviously like I said it's not the best you can get. But I do like the tripod, it's actually where I want it to be. I haven't got to stretch my arm right out. But the horses are still out in the field. I'll show you them again in a bit. <clears throat> uh, we're going to just get cracked on, get this tent all finished up. It's all pegged down. It's just basically getting everything in it now. So, we will see you soon. Leave them out in the, out in the oh, back again. 
Hey, so I've said hello to you all. That's one thing I've forgotten. All I've said is speaking, oh, we're getting a tent ready now because we ain't got it out, but hello everyone. What's in? What do you mean, what's hissing? Summit's hissing. Summit's hissing in the tent? Oh, it's a bottle. Oh, just a bottle. <laughs> At least it weren't the gas. Oh, we don't want to leak on the gas. Worst thing, especially not in a tent. But anyway, this site we're on is um, Manor Farm. Manor Farm camping. It's just outside Chester, it's not far. But you've seen a little bit of it so far. I'm going to take you over here now, just behind Chris's camper. So I'll turn camera around and show you. Well, I might just show you on here, you might be able to see. But this is beautiful. But where the horse, we're actually right next to the horse field now, where I showed you before. I'm going to turn you around. You got a nice view here as well. Plus, Chris and Sam's got a nice view from the camper because they're literally facing it. This is where their camper is here. Well, motorhome. So they're literally opposite the view, and our tent's just there. <clears throat> they're all set up now. But now, I say, gorgeous van, gorgeous. You wouldn't think. I'm not sure if I can get it on camera that well. Let me just try to zoom this out a bit. Let's get it out further. That's better. You would not think that that van is 20 years old. It's beautiful. Tell you what I'll do. I'll ask Chris if I can take his inside and have a look at it. And you'll see what I mean. It's right if we take go in here. Hey. You're right for you go in here and have a look at the van for him. Right, tell you what guys, I'll turn the camera around so you can see a bit better. That's better. Hey, are there's Sapphire. Andrew's here, and big old Rambo's there. Hello, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll look from this side first from the awning. She's a beast, and for 22 years old, uh, 20 years old, sorry, you wouldn't think. Uh, take you inside. They said it's okay, so. Oh, look at this. That's where they sleep, they sleep up top. Got the driver's seat in here. He's actually got a jackery. He's just been showing me it. But look at that. Lovely. You wouldn't actually think in how good condition this really is. Andrew's sitting down. But look at these. Not even a speck of wear on the chairs. They even got their pillows. Because obviously they're on YouTube as well. Chris and Sam living the dream. Have a look at them. If you ain't already subscribed, have a look at them. They're brilliant. Lovely couple. I'll have to Yeah, I like can see. This is really cool. No. Wear and tear, nothing. This is what I'm after, guys. When I said I want to get a motorhome, this is the sort I'm after. I prefer all these, all the wood. These modern ones, they're nice, yeah. very expensive, but they're too bright. I like the darker colors, me. It's not so much in your face, but then again, if you wanted to modernize something like this, you could easily get some white vinyl or something, just to go in the inlets like that, and then leave the outside as it is, so you got a bit of wood as well, plus the white. Dog foods there. Obviously, that's going to be their wardrobe. I'm not going in there. Nice, lovely little bathroom. Look, I mean, look at how clean that is. 20 years old, guys. You wouldn't think, would you? And then, obviously, Chris has got all his stuff here. Jackery bag there. That's his metal detecting gear there. And the big Marley will be playing that later. Look at it, guys. 20 years old and look at that that was one of the first things i saw when i first started watching chris and sam had that specially made some brilliant but now little telly there for if they've got the kids with them but what do you think guys 20 years old I tell you you know what i want to get don't you <laughs> so i'll see you in a bit oh hang on before i go let me turn the camera back around i've got a big thank you to make to all of you actually oh one minute not the carpet not sure if you noticed we just hit 80 subscribers as well the other day so thank you all so much we're almost at the 100 mark so come on get subscribing it's all free and see you all on more adventures be more videoing on this one anyway so i'll see you soon and we're back 
Look at this, Tina's cooking for the first time on these stoves. What we got, got wraps. Don't fancy too much, really. Well, we're meant to be chicken strips, but when we've opened the bag, they're bigger than we thought. Goujons. They're actually goujons. I thought they're chicken strips, but never mind. They're going to be a lot better because they're thicker, so they taste better. As I say, bigger is better, isn't it? <laughs> Chris and Sam's over there eating. <laughs> So, catch you soon once they're done. Yo, oh, look at them. We thought they were actually chicken strips and not the chicken goujons, but you know what? The Ridge Monkeys cooked them lovely. Gonna eat them now. So, I'll see you in a bit when we go and chill with Chris and Sam and have a few drinks. And uh, Dina's there. Hello. Kids are eating. Andrew's sitting on the floor. Harvey's in bed. <laughs> That's where he's been for most of the time, actually. But no, these Ridge Monkeys, only one camp, and even if you're in the motorhome caravan, get yourself some. The blinking cook anything. The only thing I've got to try cooking them actually is pizza. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I have seen someone's done it on YouTube when I've watched their videos about what you can cook in them, but you cook loads. So definitely get, go over on Amazon or something like that if they've got any deals. They sell them on there because that's where I got all mine from. So I'll see you in a bit. Here we are, fire's lit. Chris has chopped all the wood. Say hello everyone. Hi. 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 Tina's here. <laughs> Ain't got music on yet, will do, but can't because of copyrights. As Chris says. But now, gonna chill now for a bit. Still windy as you can see, wind's still blowing a hooli. Hopefully the microphone's still picking up alright. Ain't look back at the videos to see. What's he eating? Still beautiful. Stop raining now. It's cleared up a bit. Been stuck, we ain't been out of the fire yet because of the rain. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna sit here, chill, some music, some drink. So we'll see you later on. Cheers, Chris. <laughs> Hello, guys. Well, was gonna have a fire tonight, but it started raining again, so we ended up all in the awning. Looking at me, look like an alien. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we're all off to bed now, uh, Tina and Sam's already gone, the kids are in bed, it's just me and Chris, but we're both getting tired now, so we're going to shoot off, are you going to take the dogs for a walk? Yeah, I might, are you coming? Might as well have a quick walk before we go and then shoot off to bed. Yeah, we'll get the torch out. Yeah, no point filming nothing now, because it's pitch black, and obviously he can't see me, I'm just like, because he's got the green light on, so I look like <laughs> Alien. So, no night everyone, and we'll see you in the morning. Oh, right, going to bed now, guys. Just took the dogs out for a walk. I'm just having a quick sing now, and then I'm going to bed. So, yeah, been a good day. Set of tent hours, apart from the weather. It's been a, quite windy. We got here, weren't no wind, but as we were setting the tent up, as you've seen, um, it, it started getting quite windy because it blew the tripod over. So, sorry about that, guys, for when you do watch that bit. But no, so not sure what's in store for tomorrow. But everybody's in bed now, so I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to finish this smoke. I know I don't normally smoke on camera, but I've always got to have a cig before you go to bed and one in the morning. That's the main one. <laughs> but anyway, good night to you all, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>